Hello stallions, I hope you're having a fantastic summer. Please enjoy this video clip from our announcements on Arbor Day. Good morning! Welcome to Standard Good morning. Good morning! Good morning! This is our, our student newspaper team who's here to welcome you this morning. Hi! So we meet about once a, a week and we make a newspaper like once a month. So how did y'all decide on the topic? For your newspaper. So we've looked at like current newspapers and gotten ideas from like uh, Austin American Statesman or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well thank you for coming guys. You guys can head back up because they're going to join for hop time and we'll okay. take a tour around the oh, school. All right. Have a good day. All right. Bye. Have you heard the one about Arbor Day? Oh yeah. Ew. Leaf. You hanging. <laughs> so we have um, a, a cadre of teachers that work to look at student leadership, and okay. so they come up with ways, and one of the ways is to transition our um, announcements. So they used to be live announcements, and now due to COVID, we don't bring the groups together. So each uh, class is now putting on the announcements. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right, so what are you guys working on this morning for the announcements? We're, we're gonna do iMovie. You're gonna do iMovie. Okay, so what are you working on for iMovie? So uh, we are doing a fairy tale trailer type thing. We were inspired by Ms. Costrice's for fifth grade class, and we were just like, we can do that. We're gonna show them we can do <laughs> better, and we're gonna try and do it. And can I say something? Yeah. They've been inspired by you guys because you're the ones who brought that theme into the announcements, and so do you know how they captured all of those themes this week? They were inspired by you, and I'm so glad you were expi inspired by them. That's awesome. That's that great. I can't wonderful. wait to see Here it. We are both making each other better, so that's oh, pretty that's cool. Very neat. Pre-K was new to us this year, and yeah. so this is our pre-K wing down here, and they are magical. What is this? An it is a grassland. You're right. Can you make some water for me? Oh, what's on your water, Israel? <laughs> Oopsie! Why make that duck? That's your duck. Track, track. You like the track? Mm -hmm. I never heard him say it's tangled in our net. So the students who we're reading today, traditionally that's the teacher, and they have been going home and playing school and wanting to be the teacher. And so <laughs> she now allowed them to pick the book. They got to pick, they picked a book about whales because their letter of the week is W. I had never been so close to an animal so huge. And so it's interesting, you can see how the students imitate what the teacher is doing. Right, they're turning the book so, and showing it to Yeah, the and they went through and you saw the sticky notes, their they went tabs. and put their names on each page. They've practiced it and now they're going to teach them how to draw whales um, after they finish the story. You'll notice the theme throughout is like the constant communication and the collaboration that it takes to, to work together. This is a board game center, so they're just playing different games. Building to the top, huh? We work together now. Well, they figured out, so what happened at first? The first time you put it up, what happened? The wobble. The wobble. So what did you guys decide to do? Make it, make it stable. Make it stable. So how are you making it more stable? Well, well I mean, adding more stabilizers on the side. Okay, so okay. a stronger base, is that what I'm hearing? This is the stem cart. Okay, and, and they're fifth, playing chess in there yeah. too, so right? So they'll have like chess, um, lots of different like games that are thinking and, and giving those critical thinking skills and then them communicating with one another is key. Awesome. Hey guys, did you get it to work? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's hear something. Okay. You have to have your own. Ah. Uh, so why? Why wouldn't it work? Tell me why. Why is that happening? Well, um, you have to complete the circuit with your own. And you have art and science and music all coming together here. This is like such a beautiful collaboration of that, right? Aerodynamic stop motion. Tell it's me about, about it. It's about having an electric car you loses against a um, gas car because of the because of having their windows down. I'm doing the life of a panda. Okay. 
and um, it basically just focuses on how the panda is born and what it does in its life. Do you want to okay. share about the stop motion and what the task is behind it? Yeah, so the stop motion, they had freedom to do any choice they want. So you'll see I have some pandas, baseball, some cars, uh, Dallas Stars for hockey. As long as they tied it back somehow to science. And so everyone had to tie it back somehow to science. So everyone had freedom of choice and then they kind of just took it from there. So okay. this is another half hour and this is about sewing. Claire, is that a cat? I was going to say, Claire, <gasps> what are you making? Oh, you're I've never seen a more stuff. beautiful That's stitch. Yeah. I think you're better than I am. Oh, Henry! No! Aww. You're my favorite! Hey, are you sure? <laughs> How sweet. <laughs> he made me a pillow for my couch, too. Aww. Just wrapped up my visit at Steiner Ranch Elementary, and I saw so much. I think what really stuck out the most was how much student choice there was um, in science, connecting with something you're passionate about in science, pandas in science, hockey's in science, Star Wars in science. Really fascinating to see all of the student choice that's happening here at Steiner Ranch Elementary.